Bless me, Father. It is six months since my last confession. And what sins do you want to confess? Selfishness. What was this selfish act? There's a calf in Ilkley called the Tradesman's, and the owner wouldn't let me pay. And I, uh, I didn't try to. Uh, even though double egg and chips is only a pound, and I knew he was skint. So uh, why do you think you did it? Uh, childhood. Parents struggled to put food on the table. So this fellow giving away free egg and chips, do you, th do you think he got pleasure out of it? No question, Father. And you didn't like to take away that pleasure? I know myself how much pleasure I get from doing things for other people. And this is perhaps not a, a great sin. Anything else? Not for myself, Father, but, um... I have a pal who struggles with the sins of the flesh. And he wanted some advice. Is his friend a Catholic? He is. But I think he just wanted to get things straight in his mind. What things, exactly? He's a single man, but he sometimes gets tempted. Oh, so a St. Paul. I mean, temptation isn't of itself necessarily a sin. Or if he gives in to it. How? Uh, um, forcing himself upon someone, a young person. A child, even. That would be a mortal sin. Posing, he did lots of good things to try and make up for it. Would there still be a chance he could go to heaven? The catechism is clear. Any sin can be forgiven. If he made a confession. But you must urge him if he has done anything like you have described to give himself up to the authorities. Sure, he understands that, Father. 